Shalom, shalom, family. All praise to the most high power. Feel me, no blessed day, no opportunity, man. I don't even got nothing planned today, man. Just chopping up, feel me, jang on my mind, thinking about um you know the current state we in. Feel me, you know what I'm saying? We in the land of the free, but the land of our captivity, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's just a lot of things are grievous, you feel me? Pertaining to the system and the way things are set up. The system is set up against us, you know what I'm saying? Not unless we bow to the system, you know what I'm saying? But the elect, we can't bow, we ain't gonna bow. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, thinking about Christ and how when the, um, those spies came to him, sent the Jew spies that was sent, you know, came to him trying to catch him in his words was asking him um about uh should we get tribute to caesar and he said show me a penny you know and you he said you know whose inscription known it they was like caesar's he said all right then render unto caesar what is caesar and unto god what is god's feel me you know and what he's you know thinking on that you know what i'm saying that you know the system and the stuff like that the law and all that is to be respected you get what i'm saying feel me you know and and when you start feeling the pressures of it, when you're trying to survive and just do what you can do, you know, because that's what most of our people are in, a state of just survival. So, you know, um, you know, some of these things, these things, is, they get real grievous, you know what I'm saying? When you're trying to do right and, 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 and the pressures of the oppression, you know what I'm saying? It's so evident and you see it so clear, but ain't so much you could do, you know what I'm saying? You know, but it's just a... I don't know, man, just a reminder of something that I, the men of Israel, like, got to step it up, feel me, you know, we got to become more, um, I want to say self-sufficient, but not dependent on ourselves, if you get my drift, but we need to become more independent of the system, you understand that, and I'm saying that in regards to, I ain't saying quit your job or nothing like that and run in the woods, you understand, but the thing is, is like, men that they don't, don't have no trades, no skills whatsoever, man, can't even start a fire, and talking about follow them into the woods. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. You feel me? Can't even, can't even uh, raise or bring up no food. Can't even garden a farm or do none of this stuff. But they want you to follow them in the woods. You know, that's suspect to me. You know what I'm saying? And um, they want you to, you know, lead countries and stuff. Like, how can we do that? And we can't even be self-sufficient in one of the most prosperous countries on this land. You know what I'm saying? So if this sounds scattered, y'all got to forgive me. There's a lot of stuff on my mind. You know what I'm saying? But um, like we gotta we gotta become more independent to the point where our wives can truly depend on us and um and be so you know secure. You know what I'm saying? And we need to be secure, and it'll feel good as men if we can provide for our own families without having to um, boot over to this system. You understand that? And all respect to the authority over this country, you know what I'm saying? Because the authority is to be respected, you know, one way or the other, feel me? <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, we have to be, be more wise, you know what I'm saying? The system ain't set up in your favor, you know. You might get government support or whatever the case be, but do know it ain't set up in your favor, you know, for you to prosper. No, it's not. You know, I got revelation the other day that, um, you know, the, one of the main core reasons that they allow our people to get food stamps and stuff like that, you know, because um, I was reflecting on slavery, you know, right after slavery, our people were prospering, they was getting it, they was buying land, you feel me, they was independent, they weren't dependent upon the oppressor, you feel me, so the oppressor made some, made some adjustments, you understand, the oppressor made some moves against our people, you know, to get us back under their thumb or under their control in a sense, you know what I'm saying. And our people fell right for it, you know what I'm saying? Fell right into this debt stuff and all of that, you know. But, you know, the main thing is that uh, back then, our people had trades. They knew how to farm. They knew how to, like, hunt. They knew how to do everything because they was on them plantations doing it. And through the times and through this time, man, we have lost all sense of trades. Like, we can't even, like, yo, we, 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 what we doing? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, we so far off, man. I'm getting, I'm just seeing how far off we are. And I'm seeing like the government support, the, 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 the food stamp stuff like that, man. I got revelation and clarity. I said, man, that was in place to keep us off of the farm, man. Food stamps was established to keep black people from going out here 
uh, having a need to acquire land to grow food. And you know our people hungry and we want to eat good. You know what I'm saying? So if we got the skills to the farm, then we would farm. If we got the land to farm on or to, to grow produce, we would do it. But it's easier to give them, you know, give them a little money so they can just run to the store and get it. You feel me? And then you become dependent on the system, family. You know, so we need to seek that, man. Self-sufficiency, truly not self, but depending and relying on the most high, his creation to, to provide for us, you know what I'm saying, but getting in a position where we can use that to um to benefit us and our families, man. You know, because the more these, these systems and the, the hospitals and uh, all these different things, the more they feel like they can, um, you know, the more leeway we give them, the more they try to control our lives, you know what I'm saying, and our livelihood. Well, we shouldn't be giving that much power to nobody, you understand, you know? And, and that's just some stuff on my mind, man. What in the world would we do? Feel me if the stores shut down. Or what would we do if you couldn't go to a doctor office or they refused to, to help you? You know what I'm saying? Would you lose hope? You know what I'm talking about? Feel me? So we got to step it up as a people, man. You know what I'm saying? We far off, man. It's kind of kind of wild, man. You know, so... I don't know how it's going to all pan out, but most how it will be done. And I know he said he'll provide for his children. You know what I'm talking about? Which I believe, I trust in the word. But, um, shit, we still got to step it up, feel me? We need to know how to do some out there, James. Feel me? But y'all hold it down, man. A little random chop-up session. A high be magnified, another blessed day. I'm grateful, feel me? Another blessed day, feel me? Alive, breathing. No opportunity to serve the most high bring glory to his name. So all praise be to him, man. I pray y'all be blessed. Feel me? And give our God the praise, man. He deserves it, man. Shalom, y'all. Yeah.